the way you've seen Jay Bruce and move around at first base in the outfield and, and what he's done at the plate so far, has any of this been a surprise to you in, in this camp? Uh, no. Um, I, I know what a good player Jay's been throughout his career. And, uh, you know, I, I think you've heard him talk about it. The biggest thing with him is health. You know, he's he's been, you know, probably a little banged up in different ways over the last couple of years and feel like he's probably as healthy as he's been in the last couple of years. So we certainly know what he's capable of. Um, I think the biggest thing for me has been to, you know, try and get him a fair amount of first base reps and, you know, just to try and get him a little more and more and more comfortable and natural over there. I feel like he's got natural movements there, um, you know, but it's, you know, more about the experience part of it now. That's that's something that he'll benefit from. But um, I think he's looked great. Uh, he's he's moving well, uh, you know, lo looks really good at the plate. Um, um, you know, I think everything we could have hoped for uh, when we brought him in. Sweeney Murdy, you have the next question. Good morning, Aaron. A couple things. Is there uh, an update on Andrew Uh No, just continuing to treat that muscle strain and um, no, no, no update. Just he's, he's getting treatment. Okay. And have any of the guest instructors showed up at all this spring? Have, have anybody... Any of them that are local, are they all? No, no, yeah, they've all been out. That's been one of the bummers of uh, of this camp. I certainly miss miss having a lot of the people that come through here, whether it's you know a willow or a stump and gator that's here the whole time, or or guys that even you know like a Tino or Alfonso that pop in for short spurts. You know, those are you you miss that. That's one of the cool things really about any spring training, but, you know, I think especially about Yankee spring training. The fans really love that. It, you know, has a sense of nostalgia to it. What do you and the players get out of having those guys there? Um, I, I, look, I, I think any th time you can tap into people that have worlds of experience and, and the people we bring in, um, you know, ha have – Everything from managers and coaches to all-star players to Hall of Fame players, um, you know, to have that connection to th the past and have that connection to the different generations of this game. Um, you know, we're all trying to pass on the game better than we left it. And uh, to have those people here to, you know, bounce things off of, in some cases, you know, so those are some guys that I talk to and get their thoughts on things with the current club and, and what's happening in the present. But also, it's a lot of fun for me, I know, as somebody that that is very nostalgic and, um, you know, grew up in this game, you know, to hear their stories and perspectives um, is something I miss. There's... You know, it seems to be that because everyone's a little more individualized with headphones and, you know, heads in their phones, that maybe there's less actual baseball conversation sometimes happening inside a clubhouse. Mm -hmm. um, is that one of the things that maybe is amplified when those guys are around because there's time to sit in a spring training environment and have real baseball conversations? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, you know. It's different. You know, I'd like to think that, um, you know, while it's it looks different than it did 20 and 30 years ago with how guys communicate, um, still at its best um, t in today's game, I, I still think there's those high-level conversations, uh, camaraderie-building things that, that do go on. It just looks a little bit different now. Ken Davidoff, please unmute. Morning, Aaron. With, uh, with Sanchez, I mean, he looks so good so far. And I'm wondering, in the past, when he has struggled, how, how much do you think uh, confidence or lack thereof factored into that? Do you think it was at all a spiral? And do you think, you know, when, when he's been really good, mm -hmm. how much has that been the factor of maintaining? Um, <clears throat> it's a good question. Um, I think even, you know, at his lowest, um, I do think he's very confident in what he's capable of doing and his ability. 
that said, I do think there's been moments where, you know, you know, there has been where, and probably at times last year where the pre, you know, pressing, you want to do, make up for, you know, some of the struggles you've had. And that, that can snowball on you a little bit. Um, I've certainly been there at the plate um, where even though you know what you're capable of, you're still in a funk to where, you know, tension still sets in and, you know, but part of, you know, being a big leaguer and part of being an outstanding player is being able to navigate those because you're, you're, you're going to get hit in the mouth. You're going to, you're going to struggle. You're going to have a few days where you're feeling bad. The really good ones find a way to navigate out of that.